So this video is about the development of uh, camshafts in the, uh, I guess you'd say, two and a half to three and a half, three and three quarter horse category. Basically, eight and nine cubic inch uh, Briggs and Stratton push mower engines from, say, the early 1950s up through to, I don't know, say, 2013 at least. Um, anyway, so we start off here. I got this camshaft out of uh, 1956 and it doesn't have uh, easy spin starting. Um, I'll explain what that is. Here's uh, one from basically they had developed easy spin in like 1963. It's a compression release so it bleeds uh, some of the piston compression out either the intake or the exhaust valve when they first introduced it it was the intake valve so this is the intake cam lobe here and uh, I've got it uh, marked there in between there's a little bump on the lobe right there at the corner and if you can if you can compare the two you'll see this one doesn't it's smooth all the way around there whereas this one it has a has a distinct like line right there that you can see and that just bumps the intake lifter and valve open uh, 10, 20 thousandths of an inch whatever to uh, bleed the compression off then it closes so <clears throat> this is one without it 1956 and then 1963 they developed the, the uh, easy spin starting compression release and uh, these old uh, camshafts of course are made of I don't know cast iron something like that it's an iron based product anyways so steel but so they basically stayed this configuration from like 1963 up until I'm guessing at these dates here um, I'd say early 1980s at least and then I got one from 1985 uh, the, the only significant difference, it's still got the compression release there. Um, it They machined the gear tooth down. You see there's, there's some metal missing there. I believe that was to lighten it up. Lighten the gear up because it would act as a flywheel somewhat. Then I've got another one from the same time period here. And it has uh, compression released on the exhaust. You see that little uh, little guy here that pivots. There's supposed to be a spring on it on this side, but it's not there. So uh, when the engine's not running, it it puts this little thing up there on the exhaust lobe, and then as as you start the engine up, engine speed increases. Centrifugal, there's little weights on the right hand side of it there, fling out and keep it away from the lobe, so it has no effect once the engine's running. And then again, not quite sure of the year, but we'll say 1990s, mid 90s, they switched to uh, plastic camshafts with a steel shaft. It's uh, The shaft is continuous from one end to the other and the gears and lobes are cast around it. This particular one, it has um, compression release built into the exhaust lobe, but the gear as you can see is still it's somewhat hollow on the back but it's it's still uh, solid and then later on they went with spoked and uh, again the compression release is the same and then you get up to this one's out of a 2011 and again I don't know what year they switched but in 2011 they uh, and this again a spoked gear but it has the compression release back on the exhaust lobe with the uh, centrifugal uh, release there so that it shuts it off for it's all for emissions because that way the you can run your normal uh, you know emission based camshaft profile and uh, you get easy spin starting with just this uh, little uh, centrifugal bumper there that uh, works on the exhaust uh, what they found when they tried it on the intake that the engine was very hard to uh, restart once they introduced the blade brakes probably in the again mid 80s maybe once they started going to all that safety stuff there it started causing them problems on restarts 
so I discovered they had to put it on the exhaust lobe to uh, make so you can restart your engine. I have one of these, I just cut the grass with it tonight instead of the same year, 2011. And yeah, it has no problem. It basically starts up the first pull after you shut it down and you know, walk away and move a bush or something and come back, restart it. So, anyway, and the other thing is that some of these are white. I uh, couldn't track a white one down, but I know for a fact some of them are white, some of them are black. Uh, I, I could be wrong. I thought I even saw a yellow one one time. But So, the colors vary, but how they work is basically the same. So, anyway, that's just my uh, overview there for the uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, push mower engine development uh, video series there. So, there you are with their, their camshafts. Of course, I like these old guys because uh, I can weld to them, weld them, grind them, whatever. A person could JB weld the plastic ones, but it might come off. I've even heard of, on some of the big engines, I don't know if it was Briggs or not, but uh, gear slipping on the shaft. I did run into uh, one of those, so I, I prefer metal, but anyway. Plastic probably has less friction and it weighs less cheaper to make but put a lot of people out of business when they stop machining these gears here so anyway there you go